Hey, again, this is HPP Johnson, and uh, we're today we're doing a vintage um, chest rebuild, and it's a flute on the internet, YouTube, and there's nothing there, they're doing a trunk, and uh, I've got one here, and it seems to be full of rubbish. But uh, you can see what it used to look like. Um, found the pencil. <laughs> Lost the pencil. Anyway, so we'll twizzle. And uh, you can see that it was a bit of a bad condition. And put these uh, connectors years ago, a few years ago, and I can't see any more. And. Um, I've got to reuse these, uh, somehow find a wake and opening device. Uh, it's really nice that that's still on. And uh, uh, you see these, um, they're really hard and you, to get off. And same with these, uh, everything's so hard to get off. Because it's the nails, um, uh, so uh, yeah. My best advice to get it done easy is to get the um, paper off inside first. As you see, we're still in Liverpool. As you see here, I've uh, put in a piece of wood. This is a bit of flooring found in outside the house. They said, yes, you can have it. And uh, I nicked it off them. And uh, here we have the protruding nails. That uh, when you're pulling the thing off, it says, no, I don't want to come off. Anyway. And uh, you often say, they're all over the place, all over the shop. <laughs> And uh, luckily enough, one goes in the middle. This will stop it falling down again. And what I did was I uh, eventually took all the uh, uh, paper off and found them all the uh, problems that I didn't know. And uh, this piece of wood here, uh, let's see if I've still got it. No, I can't see it. It's a piece of, um, with a, that, and um, cut it between there and there, and gives you the right thing, and it gives you that little in thing for the um, uh, suitcase, so you can slot in. I eventually got them off, got it, got them off. I've, um, Put new nails in. Uh, I took it to the DIY shop. He gave me the right size nails. There. And um, I, uh, um, after much deliberation, I thought the best idea is to put the, uh, and take off some of the labels so it looks original. And there we are. Same way I did the paper, done that. Looks amazing. Looks original. No, it doesn't. Just looks better than the ones that you see on the internet. Um, this is what I used for the uh, dyeing the cloth. And all it is is an old bed sheet. And this is cloth. I went running round thinking it was fake leather, but it's actually cloth. So I could have picked up some cloth from the uh, charity shop. There's another piece of, and here we are, wobble the nails, uh, that corner thing. And I made this for the other side out of a Coke. And I made another one for there. Uh, this uh, hinge, I thought, I'm not going to be able to reuse the original hinge, so I haven't. Uh, if you notice, that's where you go, and you've got one of them, and that one's broke, so I can use that. If you notice, this tin 
is this thicker and less thinner than this tin. And yes, I've just said tin. Should I say it again? Tin. <laughs> it's not metal, it's tin. Um, hang on. I used a jigsaw to cut that piece of wood. And uh, I went round this, giving uh, the uh, it's a bit of gluing, so it kept on a bit stronger. Uh, using the outside wood glue instead of the inside, I put some glue around that as well, round here, gluing that on as well, so it lasts a bit longer. Um, and uh, there you are. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go all the way down to here and then put some uh, uh, sort of um, paper over it. I was going to use paper in the loft, but I need something a bit snazzy. So I brought some paper from, uh, uh, what do you call it, with a range. Um, and so what we've done is we've grabbed an old bed sheet, we've dyed it with that, we've taken, we should have taken the paper out before we uh, took the wood off, uh, we've uh, repaired any parts inside, uh, we've dyed the cloth, uh, took two cotton washes and a normal wash and uh, yeah, we've uh, um, I've used spray glue over the top to push everything across um, I've tried to make it so every all the cloth is connected to the other cloth if I can and where I can't I've flapped it over so you get the uh, strength anyway and hopefully over time it'll uh, bring some strength to it um, I've sprayed on the outside some spray glue um, might give some waterproof or not and we've done that thing